Hi, Sarah Speech Therapist here again. Today's topic is um, hearing, hearing screenings, ear infections, and hearing loss. So good hearing is essential for normal speech and language development because if you can't hear the language that you're being exposed to, then you can't really produce it or you can't produce it properly. Almost all children will receive a newborn hearing screening when they're first born. And then it's recommended that hearing screenings continue at least once a year. And um, if there's any issues to have them addressed immediately. So a hearing screening is um, typically done in a routine physical at your doctor's office or with a school nurse. Um, and it's just a quick um, check to see if the child responds to uh, basic speech sounds. And then if that shows any signs of um, hearing loss or reason to suspect um, more issues, then they would refer for a full hearing evaluation. So some concerns that um, might warrant consulting with your doctor would be if your child doesn't startle or turn to the source of a sound, um, especially to very loud sounds. Also, if they seem to ignore you or if they frequently say what when you're talking to them. And finally, um, if they have frequent ear infections. Uh, a quick note about ear infections. Children do have a higher rate of ear infections than adults because of just basic anatomy. So the eustachian tube is where the fluid would build up in an ear infection and up until the age of about six or seven, the eustachian tube is pretty level with um, the ground. So the fluid doesn't have as um, much you know, gravity helping it move. And then as you age, the eustachian tube um, is more diagonal. So just more natural um, and common for children to have more frequent ear infections. However, just because it's more common um, doesn't mean that um, it's not a problem. So doctor's recommendations would be um, if a child has frequent ear infections, meaning more than three in six months or more than four in a year, um, that they would recommend um, getting pressure equalization tubes, PE tubes, put in um, to help with the frequency of the ear infections. So an ear infection would be one uh, cause of a conductive hearing loss, um, which is one type of hearing loss, a temporary hearing loss. This is basically when anything obstructs sound from getting into the ear until that um, item um, or fluid is removed, um, then the hearing typically goes back to 100% normal as it was before. Um, the other type of um, hearing loss is a sensory neural hearing loss, a defect or um, trauma to the cochlea or the auditory nerve, and that is typically not reversible um, and needs um, a hearing aid or cochlear implant. Um, and then you can have a mixed hearing loss, which would be um, conductive and sensory neural. So if you have any um, concerns about your child's hearing, definitely get it checked out. Um, hearing is really critical um, in those early years. So from birth until about three or four years is when we're getting most of our um, language learning and when our speech is developing the most. Um, so it's really critical to, um, to look at those red flags. Um, and if there's any reason to suspect a hearing loss, to get that corrected as soon as possible um, so your child isn't delayed in their speech. So thanks so much for tuning in, and I hope that you learned a little something about um, hearing and hearing loss. Go ahead and follow me on Facebook at Speechy for Life and Instagram, Speechy for Life Official, um, and I will see you soon.